Hello, beautiful ladies. Here we are again. Bondage versus freedom. Bitterness versus joy. Mental bondage. Mental bondage can be a negative brainwash that is put upon you and you take it either by choice or you don't have a choice in the matter. Physical bondage. Whatever deprives you of your freedom to move about, to have your own will and your being. Social, social bondage, social bondage. Someone keeps you from your family and your friends, or you allow yourself to not be a part of a group. Freedom, as we know, of course, is allowing yourself to move about. You have your own will to do so. Bitterness is present when there's no peace. It deprives the joy in your life. I happen to have had lunch today with a colleague. And she found the need to sit and talk about her past cocaine addiction. I was very alarmed within because this lady is a very dignified and a well accepted person around the office. She told me that she was a functional cocaine addict back in the day. As she was talking to me, many judgmental thoughts flushed through my head. She told me some things that blew my mind. She told me about her large amount of friends that she had and they enjoyed sharing cocaine with her. She had a wonderful job and she was able to afford a lot of her cocaine controlled weekends. And those friends were more than likely about 80% out of 100 men. She talked about how she got to the point where she started keeping secrets from her family. Even though she could afford her cocaine addiction, she knew that her life was beginning to be uncontrollable or could potentially be uncontrollable, I would say, because her weekend of having friends that she sat at the table and enjoyed cocaine with began to spill into the weekday. So she says she had to take the reins of her life and she decided she was not going to crumble in bondage. She said she, she decided to be free from bondage to freedom. From bitterness to joy, she told me. She says she talked within herself the more and more and looked around at all the things that she was able to enjoy. Nice car, nice apartment, beautiful clothes and jewelry. She said, I did not want to part from these things. So she says she told God, you have to deliver me. She decided to move far out of the city. She told her friends, don't follow me. I am seeking the help that I need. 
she decided bondage versus freedom was going to be her new life. And with that being said, it brought to the attention of a young lady I told her about that I knew a while back. This young lady, unfortunately, was not able to release her bondage. And she became very bitter with life. She once had a beautiful life, nice large family, very well educated, attended one of the most prestigious universities in Southern California. Well, one day she didn't make the right choice and she went against her bitter judgment. I'm not sure if she was ignorant of the fact or just plain cheap. She purchased a drink at a party and this was at a club. She sipped on the drink and then some guy asked her to the dance floor. Well, after the dance, she went back to her seat and I don't know if she was being cheap and didn't want to want to buy another drink or she just was plain ignorant of the fact that you do not consume a drink after you leave it. Well, guess what? Someone tainted the drink with some unknown substance. Whatever the substance, the substance contained, it created a hormonal imbalance. Whatever chemical that was in that drug, it created a monster. And she had been crazy ever since. She made poor choices. She got with a lot of men to be able to chase that same high that she had. Well, she eventually had children by these men and the family got ripped, ripped apart because of her poor choices. Women, we cannot allow men to ruin our lives or what we can't do is our, allow ourselves to be ruined. We have choices, bondage or freedom, bitterness or the joys of life. We have choices. We have to put our big girl panties on and live life to the fullest, even if it means being alone. If you're not in your own corner, who will be? That's the question today. If you're not in your own corner, who will be? Okay. God bless you, ladies. I'm praying for you, and I will see you in a couple of days. God bless.